So, is there life beyond the panda? Well, maybe. You guys know that I'm no real expert in Chinese coins. In fact, I probably know less than most of you and most people. But I've been wondering whether there was anything else to focus on from China. You know, I love the uh, the story of China and the growth and the number of people um, having higher purchasing power entering the middle classes. It's a great story. And I know some people who are in China, in Beijing, and uh, the the mintages of the silver pandas ha- have kind of alarmed me recently, getting up to about 8 million coins. And I know that um, most of them tend to stay in China, um, but still, they're, they're, the mintages are high enough to kind of wonder whether or not they are going to be coins with a real numismatic value going forward. And whilst they will always have a good premium, as they did when they were new, it seems doubtful to me whether the latest crop of regular pandas will ever achieve the same numismatic premium as the ones in the past. So one of the things I've been looking at is some of the other ranges of coins from China, and the range that I feel is quite attractive for us collectors is the China Lunar range, which is not a new range. It's um, a range that's been around for a long, long time, um, produced in moderate amounts, and uh, we're now in Series 4 since 2009 of the Chinese Lunar range. As you can see from the illustrations, the silver lunars come in the regular circle, and that has the highest mintage of about 200 to 220,000 coins. Then there's the one with the scalloped edges, which is meant to represent uh, the petals of a flower. And then there's the fan-shaped coin, where if you put enough of them together, they kind of go into a kind of circle shape. Um, The fan and the petal-shaped coins tend to have mintages of around about 60 to 80,000 coins. So very small for China compared to the pandas, which are uh, not proof and have mintages of of 8 million odd. As well as the regular silver editions, there are a number of extremely upmarket gold editions weighing up to 10 kilograms of solid gold. There's, I think, a 2 kilogram and a 10 kilogram gold. Um, Naturally, they don't produce very many of those very upmarket ones. And there's a nice option, which are these rectangular 5-ounce coins that they produce in silver and gold. The... um, The mintages on the rectangular ones are very much lower, and I've seen them change hands uh, slabbed for about seven or eight hundred dollars, even for the silver coin. So let's move on and take a look at the actual coin. This one is the 2011, the year of the rabbit. This is the regular round lunar coin. It's a proof coin, and my one was, I think, 218,000 something or other. Um, So very much towards the end of the run, comes in a very nice wooden box, nicely presented. Um, This one was bought uh, on the aftermarket, so probably it originally came in a plastic pouch which somebody snipped to put it into the case. But um, in all likelihood I'll grade this one anyway with NGC. But the, the design is absolutely lovely. It's a kind of um, a modern design rabbit, two different types of rabbit. Um, I think it's a very, very nice design. 10 yuan in denomination, um, nice and shiny, proof coin. I particularly like the back, which is, uh, I think, very, very typically Chinese. And the little building there, which is um, just on the on the circle, the bottom part of the circle, is um, a building which you see just going into the Forbidden City from Tiananmen Square in Beijing. But um, lovely coin, and in fact, 
all the ones I've seen in this particular range, the Series 4 range, have been very nice, very modern, very clean, uh, I think really good examples of uh, of the kind of art production of these coins. Um, as for investment potential, I don't, I don't really know. Um, I think these coins have got some potential to appreciate. I've noticed that the ones for sale that are brand new in the Year of the Monkey from China tend to be pretty expensive and they're often a little bit cheaper to buy afterwards a year or two later in the aftermarket so my suggestion would be to look for older ones at the moment and not the year of the monkey new ones uh, although i have got one on order uh, for for a video which is a fan shaped one to show you in a couple of weeks when that arrives but um i'm impressed with them i think they're really nice they make a nice change from the regular panda and let me know what you guys think and whether this is something that you'll put on your list as well.